Hi YouTube, it's Aisha Antoinette with the Curl Kit Review for January. I missed you all. I hope you were waiting for this. I just got my curl kit in the mail, so I have not even opened it yet. So excited. I was so excited. No, really. I was so excited. I was super excited. Okay, so before we get started, sometimes people have questions about my hair. So this is a twist out and if you're in New York which I am it rained today and I was outside um, serving food to the homeless with um, graffiti church in New York City and we were out there and it started to downpour and so the twist out kind of shrunk up so I'm actually really happy with how my hair looks right now which is like big a really really big deal because usually when your hair shrinks up from water you're not happy with how it looks but I've reached the length that my shrinkage looks like this really happy about that yeah happy about this shrinkage okay let's get to it ah! so I was waiting for a long time for this box I'm having mixed feelings right now because I was kind of disappointed um, with the last box. I was disappointed with everything um, a little bit before before Alake Naturals. Um, oh, excuse my voice too. I think after our polar vortex in New York and our Arctic air, I may be coming down with something. So, um, but I'm just hoping that this curl kit has some redemption. I click inside. Okay. Regular pink box. Here it is. Um, Curl Life, New Year, New You. They have shedding tips and cold weather hair tips. I'm okay with cold weather hair tips because if your hair has not been drying out like crazily due to the extreme cold, extreme heat, extreme cold, extreme heat, then lucky you. I'm doing a DC challenge, so I'm supposed to be DC my hair every week, but I kind of I kind of like this, so I mean not. You know what? I'm not going to say that because I did take the challenge, so I'm going to DC my hair tomorrow, but with this. I just finally got some Basque and I'm so excited. This is not in the curl kit. I don't think this will ever be in the curl kit. But I just got some Basque and I'm waiting to um, use this and see how this is. I had DC'd last week with Diva Curl. I don't know if it's over there, but Diva Curl Heaven and Hair. And I really didn't like it. It left them. Um, I had to condition after the deep conditioner. And I think it's a problem when you have to deep condition, uh, when you have to condition after your DC because your deep conditioner should have been enough. So I suggest if you are um, going through that really dry period that you um, you DC more frequently. Um, I'm going to tell you what it says here for the colder months. Shampoo less, which is what I've been doing minimize heat usage, protective styling, and use pH balance products. So that is their tips for the colder months. Um, I haven't been using heat. I don't protective style at all. I probably should. I, like I've never done this. Um, probably one time back when I like first cut my hair, but whatever. Okay. Um, on the back, again, is their curl kit shop and they tell you what's there for you to purchase they give you tips on the shedding here and that's about it oh and it gives the editors um new year's resolutions so she wants to drink more water use less heat styling deep condition at least once per week to strengthen and protect her hair which is what i recommended get regular trims i think i'm due for one try new styles experiment with color um, gift or donate unused products, extend her natural consciousness, eat more vitamin-rich foods, and love her hair. 
So those were her 10 New Year's resolutions. I don't have any resolutions. I have goals. I have 2014 goals, and one of them is to learn how to drive. Okay. The unboxing. <laughs> This was on top. Da, da, da. And this is, what is this? Oh, it is a can to coconut curling cream sample. So it's a sample of the curling cream, which I kind of wanted to try, so I'm happy about that. I'll keep this sample, ladies. Next, we have Wonder Curl Restoring Hair Treatment. Oh, you can see it. Uh, okay. Restoring Hair Treatment, an intensive deep hair treatment that strengthens, moisturizes, and smooths your hair. I'm excited because I'm looking for more DCs. Let's see this. Oh, it smells like nothing. Kind of, kind of smells like Vaseline. Oh, oh, that takes me out the zone. If you watched my last video, I'm a scent freak, and it probably works well, but it don't smell good. Okay, texture, creamy stays there uh, um, uh, there's grit in it like you can feel like when you don't mix shea butter that well you can feel like the grit in it oh it does not smell good at all okay you know what I do the little strand test oh look at that Shrinkage is crazy. Um, I'm gonna put it in my hair. Uh, glides on. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, gliding on. You know what? It looked like you would get really. Like it would really sh um, soak and penetrate every strand. That's how it feels right now. Like it would really stay on there. I mean, really deeply penetrate. I do a dry hair test. If um, a product can sufficiently make my hair moist and like this, you can see that's my, so my hair looks like when it's mostly wet. Um, then it's, it's pretty, I figure that it's pretty good. Okay, and I feel it feels moisturized. Ah, I just can't deal with the not having smell thing. Ugh. And um, I appreciate the samples. I really do. I have a lot of hair. <laughs> um, and I'm heavy handed with my product. So this is probably one application for me. This is one application for me. So, all right, I'm excited about that. I am excited to try it out, even though it doesn't smell like anything. I have a small bottle of essential um, lavender oil, so I may add two drops just to get some kind of smell. Okay, luscious locks. What did I tell you guys last video? These are the main brands that Curl Kits recycles. Curl Kit recycles many of their products. Um, and this one is Curl Enhancer, infused with aloe vera and olive oil. You know what? Let me go back here for a second because I didn't tell you the ingredients of this. And it's really, really small on here. Um, water, cetaryl, alcohol, bentram, mm, chloride. Mm. <laughs> When I can't pronounce it, it's not really good. It's not a good thing if I can't pronounce it. Um, shea butter, avocado butter, olive oil, 
some manu seed oil, the, a very long word, chloride. Uh, I, there's not the best ingredients, but again, I'm still, I'm feeling the curl that I use it on and it still feels like moisturized. So we'll just leave that there. We'll see what happens at the end of the video. Okay, so the Luscious Locks Curl Enhancer. Free of sulfates, parabens, phthalates, mineral oil. Detangles, moisturizes, and adds shine. Oh, detangles. Um, curl enhancer, what do they want you to do? Section hair and work dime-sized amount in each section, style as usual. Recommended on clean and conditioned hair to create soft, defined curls. And this is water, vegetable glycerin, olive oil, pectin, grapeseed oil, argan oil, aloe vera, green tea extract, lavender extract, chamomile extract. Mm. Okay. Then polyquaternarium 37. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. All right. Well, out of all the ingredients, that was probably the worst one. Uh, let's come this way. Let's see. Okay. It's a thick. It's thick. Okay. Let's smell it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like pineapple a little bit. A little like a, a, a soft pineapple. Um, since I used this strand for this. Uh, I'll put it on this one. I don't feel it. It's oh, um, it's really uh slippery and slimy. Like you can feel it on your fingers when you're done shedding. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Does that shed hair for you? Um. Okay, I can see using this to detangle. Detangles, moisturizes that shine. Hmm. I can actually see using that. See this? I can see using this in a, um, like when I put up my hair and puff it. So, all right, winner. Okay, two out of five. Aren't so bad so far. Okay, these are keepers. Then we have curls. Are us. Curl definer. Protects and defines. Paraben and silicone free. Never heard of this before. Um, ingredients. Water, polyquaterium 55, hydroxypropyl. No. When the first when one of the first two ingredients reads like that, it's a no-go. Let's smell this. It probably smells producty. I coined that term last video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. And it's li it's liquidy. It is liquidy. Okay. Okay. Um, curl definer. Apply a small amount to the palm of your hand, working evenly through wet or damp hair cell as usual. Okay, it yeah, it smells like product, like it smells producty. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna put it in my hair. I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm just not. I don't. I'm not interested in this. So, okay. I just. I don't think the ingredients are good. It smells like product, um, and not good product either. The ingredients. If I continue to read, it's like PEG-36, hydroxyless, less, I don't know. I don't know. And I, I find that a problem for me. So I never heard of Curls R Us, but I don't, I'm not interested in using it. All right.
next brand is from <gasps> Amazing Botanicals. Honey Condish. You know what? I think they just knew. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to leave in moisturizing styler. Mm. Oh, I got some on my lip. Does that ever happen to you? You're smelling something that like goes on your nose or your mouth? Okay, that actually smells really good. This is the inside texture. Oh, texture's pretty good. Pretty thick. Um, let's do this one. Look at that. I'm telling you girls, shrinkage. <laughs> uh, leave in moisturizer. What I'm all about. Love me some moisturizer. Okay, went in, went on very smooth and wet. If you have a dry style, you see how that's laying, um, hanging limp in front of me. That's because it's weighed down by the product. So if you have a dry, a, a really dry style, you might not want to put on there. There you go. And I got something in my hair right here. Oh, that's some of it. Okay. Um, feels good. Feels moisturized. We'll see. Let's see how our our other side is holding up. This is the deep conditioner, the Wonder Curl deep conditioner. Hmm. So it feels pretty good. This one is the Luscious Locks Curl Enhancer. I'm liking these so far. And this, we'll let that dry a little bit and then see what happens. I'm excited because I have always wanted to try other things from Amazing um, Botanicals, but I find that their prices are a bit steep. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to be a frugal natural. I've been natural for three years. Today? Maybe or yesterday. Ah! It's my anniversary! <laughs> so I've been, um, I cut off all my hair. <laughs> I started transitioning in November and December happened and I was like, I can't do this. I need, I need you to chop my hair off. I was talking to my sister. Um, and she cut it down to about an inch or two inches. Um, yep. 2011, 12, 13, 14, yep, 2011. So three years natural. Um, and I'm trying to not, um, break the bank with all these products. I really, really want to take this opportunity to say to new naturals, if you're watching, yeah, you should find out what works for you. And experimenting is so fun, but to go crazy spending so much money, it, you know, you don't have to, you, you just don't like Cantu, this brand right here, Cantu, it, I mean, amazing, amazing, $6.99, $6.99 for the tall hair milk. Um, I know that this coconut curl and cream may cost just a bit more, but it's all in the under 10 or 10 um, mark. You do not, <coughs> mm, excuse me, you do not have to pay $25, $30 for a deep conditioner and you can find something else. So do your homework. You don't have to break the bank. Um, there are some things that I'll splurge on just because I want to. Um, I bought this for a friend who was cleaning out her, um, a friend online who was cleaning out her her stash. Lola Kinks. Hi. Hi, Ashley. Okay, um, so she was cleaning out her stash and I bought this off of her. Um, so I'll do that if they're having deals or something. Um, but I just... I won't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it, you don't need to, you just don't. So I really want to stress that. Okay. And the last product, last but not least, is this little sample of Two, Two Cheek, Two Cheek, Two Cheek, Two Cheek, I'm going to say Two Cheek, um, avocado, olive oil, 
Ultra Moist Shampoo for Dry Damaged Hair. And this is from the Giovanni line. I love the Giovanni line. I have their leave-in conditioner, which is bomb. And not so pricey. It's like $11 or something. I'm wondering if I see this. I don't know if it's... Hold on. Okay. Um, I never tried their shampoo. Always tried their leave-in. USDA certified organic ingredients, which is why I love them so much. Um, their ingredients do have, you know, they do contain things like sodium, laurel, sarcosinate, sodium, coco, dimethicone, uh, <laughs> polysorbate 20, and this is their this is their shampoo but it doesn't contain sulfate i don't see a sulfate in here so i'm more prone to give it a try if a sulfate isn't in it um i don't shampoo regularly I shampoo once a month to really clarify, but I'm a fan of co-washing. Works for me. Um, but I might give it a try just because I have the sample. Okay, so um, this has been your Curl Kit 2014. Okay, everything was a go except for this. Never come get this. Um, I don't want that at all. So, I mean, okay, it's been all right. I love that we get um a full size of something, and it gives me a chance to try out things like amazing botanicals, which I wouldn't go out and buy on my own. So let's see how these things are doing. Um, this one is from this curl. I put Wonder Curl on, um, the deep conditioner, and it really feels nice, and it dried nicely. So I can't wait to deep condition with this. On this curl, on these set of curls, I put the Curl Enhancer, and it feels nice and moisturized. It feels like I may have to put oil after, because I said that I could um, do a puff with this, and that, that's what I probably would do. Um, and on the front of my hair, I put the Leave-In Moisturizing Styler by Amazing Botanicals. And it looks nice. Feels moisturized. Feels better than the rest of my hair. I did my, my twist with... Um, Madagascar, Vanilla Madagascar, the styling cream from Darcy's Botanicals. Also, Darcy's Botanicals is also um, a fairly inexpensive um, if you want to do the all-natural thing. So I don't have a problem with putting not-so-good chemicals in my hair. Just just depends. I just wouldn't, you know, do it really nearly. You'd have to have some ingredients that I were, like, really in love with. Um, so this is this is good. It, it really moisturized my hair. So looking forward to using this in small increments <laughs> because, you know, this is my, this is going to be my only little bottle. I probably won't buy it again um, because this honey condition leave-in moisturizing styler is probably $22 on their <laughs> website. And for 20, you know, for that, I can buy two bottles of the 16 ounce hair milk for um, can too. So it just, it doesn't make sense to me. It makes my hair feel the same, actually. So I'm going to say, you got to learn what works for your hair. But, oh, this is teetering on 25 minutes. I'm so sorry I kept you so long. Um, but I did want to share, you know, some stories with you and things like that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in February. Bye.